continuation of Fly Away With Me. Sorry, I wiped off part of it. So, well, I'm afraid you'll have to wait a bit. So I've lost part of it. This is September the 9th, 2003. She's running toward the park. The brakes so wide. This is really the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Everything goes wrong. Melody is terrible. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, even I like it. I hope I'm not losing my edge. Yeah, you're the one who needs the luck, Lancer. Because here they come. The room with no windows or doors open. They were starting to not be able to breathe at all. What was the black pony doing? They hadn't seen him, but somebody had locked that door. I don't believe it, said Dodge. If we hadn't come in here, he wouldn't have closed the door. And then, and then, we wouldn't be here. And, and my, oh, no. Would be in here with the door open. George George lay on his side and started taking deep breaths, desperately trying to get up again. Desiree knew they couldn't survive much longer in here. So there was only one thing to do. Why was it so hot in here though? It couldn't all be coming from one of these locks. There must be two. And then Desiree realised. Some mirrors in between the two cages. Yes, the two cages made it look as though Trinity and Lancer were in the same cage, although they were actually in two separate, smaller cages. The bars were very near together, and so... Actually, I suppose the bars must have been as hot as the locks. And then Desiree noticed something else. Not only were the bars all round the ponies, but on the floor as well. So, the poor ponies were standing on these hot bars. Well, actually, that's not true. When the two ponies had been searching for the guinea pigs, Truly had been wearing the outfit Sun and Fun. If she could have got part of this outfit, say the hat perhaps, into the cage next to her, then both of them could have stood on something. But of course, as I said, there were mirrors between. And so Truly had a whole outfit underneath her, which she was standing on to avoid burning her hooves. Desiree had an idea though. Perhaps Truly could pass through part of the outfit and, and then Desiree could put it in the next cage and then both the ponies would have something to protect their feet. But when she asked Truly, Truly said that her hooves were burning enough already. With thick layers of clothes under them, so she wasn't going to give any to the pony in the cage next to her. Why won't the black pony let us out? Desiree said. Because he's evil, of course, said Twinkle. 
And then a voice came through the locked door. I won't let you out until you do one of two things. Yes, one of two. You can either unlock the lock of heat or there's another fate you can meet. You can suffocate when you run out of air. Then I'll let you out. So there, you have two options and you'd better do one now or you'll be stuck in there forever and then I'll have my pony land won't I? <coughs> then there's only one thing to do, Desiree said we're not going to do the second option, which is sit here and suffocate. We will have to undo these heat locks, as the black pony calls them. But then you'll burn your fingers, and I'll burn my hooves, and the guinea pigs will burn their paws. The guinea pigs aren't going to be using their paws, are they? Desiree said, looking down at the two guinea pigs panting, lying on their sides. You'll have to undo one lock, I'll have to undo the other. And we'd better do it fast. We're quickly running out of air. And how, yes how, are we going to unlock them? Every step taken on the floor was awful. Because... Even the floor was boiling. For Desiree couldn't imagine what it was like inside the cage. You go to the nearest one, Desiree said. And then I'll go to the furthest away one. The nearest one was, of course, Trulies. You know the little pony who refused to give part of her outfit to Lancer, who had nothing in the cage at all, meaning that he must have been burning his hooves terribly, while she had quite a bit of protection and was still complaining. So Desiree was determined to get into Lance's cage as fast as possible. As she went over to the cage, desperately trying to keep her feet off of the ground as much as possible, she saw that the bars were actually glowing red. The cage that she was going to unlock the heat lock on must be even hotter than Truly's cage, which Lofty was going to unlock. Desiree raced over to the cage and desperately tried to get the lock off, trying not to notice how hot it was. No, said a voice suddenly from behind Desiree. And Desiree turned round to see that Dodge had got up and was racing across the floor as though he was being chased by a fire. I will get into the cage. And Dodge desperately started to try and climb up Desiree's leg. So Desiree lifted him up into her arms and then he tried to bite through the heat lock. She found that he couldn't do it. Dodge, you can't get into the cage. You'll burn your mouth. 
and you'll burn your fingers. So what? It doesn't matter, Desiree said. You just stand back and I'll get in there. Don't worry. About two minutes later, she'd managed to get the lock off and the door flew open and the pony managed to stumble out. Oh no! His hooves are burnt with my mouth! said Dodge, trying to keep his mouth closed. About two minutes later, Lofty managed to get Truly's lock off. And then the door flung open and the black pony let them out. So what was the point of that? Well, he hadn't expected them to be able to undo the locks. So, he thought they'd be stuck in there forever and he hadn't thought that they would even try to unlock the cages. But they had, and now Ponyland would get cooler, and perhaps it would rain again. But even as they went out the door, they saw it was starting to cloud over, and so soon all the pools which were supposed to have water in would be overflowing. And, and so, so once again, Ponyland would be safe. Truly was very cross with Twinkle. Not no. only for running away in the first place, but for not helping her. You know, when he collapsed on his side. If only Twinkle had helped her. And it hadn't been Dodge who tried to help. Because I doubt if Dodge's owner would have been so cross with him. How could he be? Lancer was too happy. But him and Truly had finally got out of those burning cages. When they got home, the two ponies had very different reactions. When they spoke to Desiree, Truly said straight at Desiree and said, Well, thanks for saving me. Even when you were next to the cage, you didn't get up and try and open the door, did you? Well, replied Desiree, I had to try and get Lancer out. You wouldn't even... Give him part of your outfit, your wonderful sun and fun outfit. Can't you imagine, if your hoops were so hot, don't you think that Truly wasn't interested? Lancer, on the other hand, or hoof should that be, couldn't look at Debray and instead stared at his hooves as he muttered awkwardly, um, thank you, Desiree. I don't think I could have stood there much longer. What my owner is trying to say is... You probably saved my life. The pony stared up at her, clearly very grateful. And the little guinea pig said, Well, thanks again, and skipped off, expecting his owner to follow. But his owner didn't follow for a second. Lance looked as if he wanted to say something, perhaps about something the black pony of darkness had said. But 
In the end, he just muttered, Thank you. And raced off after the guinea pig. I mean, he didn't want Dodge disappearing again and starting yet another adventure. But I'm telling you, I'll be back, said a voice, coming from the distant nightmare land. <laughs> Its best friend separated is no longer on this tape. Go to the other tape, marked up. Lofty and Rocket, best friends separated. This is now voices off of the television. Teddy. <laughs>